Welcome back everybody at Sport Federation TV. Nice to have you along and of course this is the show that takes a look on a weekly basis at what's happening with the sport codes in the Western Cape. Uh, tonight we'll be catching up with Sean Gordon, the Vice Chairperson of uh, Lifesaving Cape Town and we'll also be catching up with Dirk Pritz from Western Cape Yekske and then we'll show you uh, some of the uh, previous segments that we had in the show. But joining me on the line now, uh, Sean Gordon, Lifesaving uh, Western Province. Uh, Sean, uh, nice to have you back on the line. How are you, Benia? I'm good. I'm good yourself, JP. Uh, it's, it's always nice uh, chatting to you. Yeah, thanks. Uh, Sean, um, this is, I uh, suppose, uh, our, our, our conversations with you is also beyond the uh, normal sport of competition and uh, provinces and districts and so on, because it's helpful for us also to catch up with you on a regular basis about uh, the safety aspects and new advisories, so to speak, on on life saving as we would hear yeah, radio reports etc um, but let's just start uh, with that um, from a from a safety perspective um, uh, we know that uh, we had the Easter weekend we know that uh, there are there is some relaxation now around COVID um, but people are still going to the beach yeah definitely it's it's always a uh... That's one of the past times that people use uh, recreation, going down to the beaches. Um, yeah, but there's still the rules that needs to apply. You know, the, the main aspect is always the alcohol aspect. Um, you know, that, that people refrain from coming down or using or even being intoxicated when they do come down to the yeah. beach, especially when they're coming down with kids. Um, that always plays a major role. We uh, so easily for kids to get into difficulties, and you know, parents just want to maybe hang out on the spot uh, with his parking. Um, yeah. And ten to one, with parking areas along beaches, there's no lifeguards, and so parents would sit in cars and tell the children go play in the water, and that is the worst thing that we can do because you've been distracted so easily, especially if you're sitting with a, a buddy or whatever, having a drink in the car. Um, and you take your eyes off from from the water, and when you so, look again, your kids are gone. So, yeah. So, Sean, what is the instruction so then for be, people that are, are are going to the yeah. beach? I mean, if you guys as lifesavers who are are looking after the beaches and people's safety, what is the direct, clear instruction that you would give to people that are going to the beach? The best one, JP, is always swim with your lifeguards. Okay. I mean, it's it's it's. it's the, the flags are red and yellow. It's international flags. Um, the lifeguards would, would wear red and yellow clothing. So that would be the best instruction. Go and swim where it's safe. The lifeguards, they will check in the morning. First thing, they'll check for safety areas or the best place for, 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 for the public to swim. And so they, they can control. We know the beaches are it's a huge area. Yeah. And the, like, we haven't got the capacity yeah. to cover all the areas. So we bring it down to a the best place to swim. And that... That should be where people go, um, go and bathe or, so that's or actually go into a the water. On to wait a bit. So that's actually guidance for people who go yeah. to the beach. Is if they look for the flags, they know that that place has actually been scanned by lifesavers already, and um, that would be possibly the one of the safer places to swim. So two rules then that I'm picking up from you. Number one is no alcohol, and number two, swim where the lifesavers are. That's that's a definite. Okay. That's a definite. You know, if we can if we can get that right, I think we'll minimize the the risk of drowning by most probably ninety ninety five percent. Well, that would be great. Let's talk a little bit about the the lifesavers themselves. We believe that you guys have got an event coming up this weekend. Yeah, we got a we got a Nipper event coming up at Milneton on uh, Sunday morning. They start um, fresh and early. They start at around about eight o'clock. Um, Due to COVID, obviously, we don't allow any spectators, but, you know, the people walk through and check what is happening. And so that's a, it's a quite, it's a quite a nice event to go and look at the small ones all running around swimming. Um, and what and, type and of they, events they do are they future do? And that, the nippers, nippers would do, we've got land events or what we call beach events that is running, sprinting on, on the beach and, and flags. Flags is obviously one of the popular popular events in life saving with the turning around to grab a baton. And then you have events like your surf swim, your board events. Um, for the nippers, you'll also have your uh, um, your run swim run. 
So those, those are the type. And for the smaller ones, they have the boogie board or the body board event. That's like the boogie board that they lay on and kicking around and coming out. So, so they are future. So they're enjoying the sport at the moment. And once they become uh, 14, 15 years old, they will go into the life-saving category where they become junior lifeguards and lifeguards out. And Sean, then uh, I believe at the end of the month, there's also an event coming up in KZN. Yeah, that is our, our interprovincials. Uh, we're life-saving um, all the provinces come together. So a team has been um, put together, ready for Western Cape. So they'll be leaving on the 23rd, 24th of April, and they will be competing for a day in... We've got our, our NIPA category that will be competing, and then our junior category, and then our senior category that will be competing over that weekend. How tough will the competition be, Sean? Are we, do you think we have a chance of bringing back some medals? Well, I can tell you it's normally, it's normally intense. Uh, you, have the, you have the top dogs of all the provinces, and normally the competition is heavy between um, KZN and between Western Cape. Um, it's always a tug of war every year. We is, either way, it's just by a couple of points where we, where we either miss that or where KZN either miss that. But normally it's, it's really intense and the guys compete hard because that, that will lead them into the team for the, for the SA team. And Sean, the, you know, the, the one thing that has become apparent for me, I mean, I know that we've had, in fact, some as life-saving South Africa, we've had some success on the international arena and bringing back a few world champions. But the, 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 the sport of life-saving has taken on a completely different dimension over the last few years. It's not just a question of how fit you are on the beach or at your club. Your athletes are now high-performance athletes with all sorts of different components from gym exercises to special nutrition and coaches. Yeah, uh, I th yeah, that is true. It's, it's, it's evolved a lot. It's not as a, a thing of uh, you doing duty and we're just competing now. The guys are actually going full at and they, they, they're training hard. They're getting all, I mean, one of our guys in Western Cape, um, Raul, um, he's one of the top, top athletes in the world for life-saving. And he's always at, he's one of the presenters on on uh, top billing also. I yes, see. we of course know Ral so, is Nature yeah, Boy Cape Ral Town. Is... I think if you want to follow him, you can follow him on Instagram. I think on Na as Nature Boy, absolute nature lover. We had him on the show on a number of occasions. What an absolute legend! Yeah, no, definitely he's he's really left the mark in life saving, and it's good to see that he's still living legends. You know, we don't talk about these guys when they. When they've passed on, we can talk about them while they're still here. Yeah. So, yeah, he's one of the guys that's really inspirational to the sport, to the yeah. athletes. Yeah. Even in his, his club, he's at um, a Falls Bay Life Saving Club on the, on the Falls Bay Coast. He's really, he, he brings his part as far as doing duty. Like I said before, we are twofold. We've got a service component and we've got the sporting component. And yeah, he brings he brings all that. And like you say, the nutrition. You would speak to guys. You'll have workshops. Uh, a couple of years back, he had workshops with guys. His disciplines are always are, are, are sprints and and flags. So we'd have things like that to encourage the younger guys to go into the sport, to be part of it, and to compete. So yeah, it's nationally we have top competitors. Remember, we've got the still water life saving also. Yes. So that is the guys up in the north there, uh, the KZ, um, the KwaZulu Natal, um, sorry, the Gauteng guys and the Bloom guys, top athletes. I mean, they come, they compete for the first time or, you know, they, they know about surf rescue a bit or surf lifesaving and they come compete on these levels and these guys are phenomenal. I, I stood there as a, as a technical officer and I thought, yes, this was coming from the dams, but check out he's swimming in the water here. He's like, navigating through the surf so it was <laughs> awesome to see that man sure we'll leave it at that it's really fantastic to know that life saving is always out there to look after us and also that our athletes are doing so well in the province and uh, we look forward to catching up again soon no definitely thanks a lot for that jp always a pleasure being here on your show and just to encourage or, or promote the sport of life saving there we go, folks. Sean uh, Gordon, of course, Vice Chairman of uh, Cape Town Life Saving. The athletes, of course, um, uh, in addition to this coming weekend, which you know that he just said, there is a Nippers tournament in Milnerton. 
um, of course, our Western Cape athletes then on their way to the South African Championships or the Interprovincial Championships in KZN. And we wish them the very best of luck. Stick around. Don't go away. When we come back from the break, we're going to be catching up with Dirk Brits from Western Cape, Yixke. They've got some fantastic developments across the province. Yixke is growing. Be back in a sec.